uh, having their uh, getting into this part of the season where there's only a few games to go and they're jockeying for position in the conference tournament. It'd be a shock if Converse does not make it after the season they put together. They're firmly in the picture. King, they're they're pretty firmly in the picture too. It would take a pretty devastating collapse for them not to make it. And there's a foul right into the ball game, just 10 seconds in. And Turner is fouled. He'll go to the free throw line. Excuse me, that would, that would say he was not shooting, so Cal will throw it in. Cullen finds Turner on the dish inside and his two out of bounds, Converse basketball. The foul was charged on C.J. Jamison. That's the one player Converse cannot have get into foul trouble. Jamison averaging nearly 16 points a game. Inside Dawkins and a backdoor two gets us started. Converse strikes first. Here's Cullen backdoor and can't get his two to go down. This is Pullen. Valkyrie's moving it around the perimeter here as Burgess goes back door, but Jamison slips. So turnover number one for Converse. Again, King, part of the story of their season, a young team that's been growing up and learning. And again, four of their last six conference games have been wins. As a cow lines up a three and sees it go down. King leads by one early. Pulling under pressure. Skips it inside and a foul on, I believe, Turner as Jamison tried to get it to go. First foul on Kenny. Free throws coming for C.J. Jamison, who's 83% at the line this year. Top five in several categories in the conference is C.J. Jamison. First one goes. Jamison, fourth in the conference in three-point field goal percentage. He's made the most three-pointers in the conference, so an excellent shooter, and he's fourth in free throw percentage as well. So you can write great shooter beside C.J. Jamison's name. And he gives Converse a 4-3 to three lead as the Valkyries bring a little pressure here. This is going to be an up-tempo game up and down the floor. You can tell already. Turner doubled off the catch. Pocknett spins. And loses it out of bounds. Converse basketball. And a turnover forced by a cow there. He didn't, I don't think he got his hand on the basketball, but just the pressure that he put on uh, Pullen forced him to dribble it out of bounds. Here's a cow, working his way inside, spins, kicks, Cullen, three, and rebounded by Dawkins underneath. Nice look at the basket, Cullen can't cash in. You look up and down, statistically this, this Converse team, when you look at their conference ranks, they're right near the top in all, almost all the categories. As you see, a nice assist there as Dawkins lays it off the glass. A lot of backdoor action early. As a cow hangs and scores. If you like up-tempo basketball, 
Tonight is your night. Pulling into the front court. Quick two pull up. And out of bounds as King with some friendly fire. Turner and a cow run into each other. And it goes out of bounds. Converse has won four straight games coming into play today. Five of their last six. These two teams are both playing well right now. And there's a lot on the line in this game. This could be a massive win at home for King. As Jamison drives to the cup and Turner rejects it. But Jamison puts it back for two. Valkyrie's up three. Turner. His shot blocked by Burgess. Pullen turns it over as Cullen steps in the passing lane. Turner finds Cullen in the corner. He lines up a three and buries it. We're tied at eight. Again, a nice energy in the building here tonight in the student center. Dawkins, another backdoor pass. Jamison can't convert this time. King wants the lead. A call. Deep three. Short tapped out. And another rebound. Pocknett finds Cullen again. Same spot. Tipped out again. Pocknett an offensive rebound. He goes to the cup and throws it in. King up two. Pulling across the line. Feels like Converse is really bringing King out for the backdoor chances. Here's another chance. Turner, three on one, and he slows it down. A cow into the paint, loses it. Out of bounds. King basketball. And we'll take a timeout. What a frenetic pace we've had here early. King leads by two. We'll take a break and be right back on the Tornado Sports Network. Hey, oh, man, what a tough loss for King. I'm sure that was tough to see in person. And also, of course, Tracy, Kenny Turner's mom, she's checking in from Coral Springs. One thing is certain. We know Tracy's going to be checking in. We just don't know if it's from here or if it's from Florida. Cullen steps on the out-of-bounds line to start the uh, out, of the out of the break. Jay Mitchell checks into the game for Converse for the first time. And we also see Leo DeCampo, a junior from Italy, into the lineup for Converse. This Converse team's got a lot of transfers and a lot of uh, international flavor. As now a foul here. Pocknett picks up his first. See Dawkins hit the floor hard in front of us. Second foul on King in the early going. Mitchell bounce pass inside to Campo. Out of bounds. King basketball. So King with an early lead. The Cows got five of King's ten points early. Jordan almost falls out of bounds there, able to save it. Turner, fadeaway two. And the rebound goes to Dawkins. Here come the Valkyries. Quickly the other way. Jamison for three. Pocknett grabs a rebound. Crossover inside. Foul on the floor is the call. Mikel wants it to count. As do all the King fans in the building, but no, a foul is the call. Cam George has checked in for Eli Elston. 
That fifth spot in the lineup has sort of revolved over the last couple of games. We've seen Cam George start a few games. We've seen uh, seen Elston start a few games as well. George off the inbound. Too much on it. George has been excellent shooting the basketball off the bench. Truly a, a spot-up shooter that King needs. Here's DeCampo working on Turner and a nice move up and under. We're tied at 10. Mikel back door. George throws it away. Nice pressure there by Converse to force the turnover. The third of the day for King. Dawkins working on Cullen inside. Good defense by Seth. Open three, Malcolm Morgan, but a foul under the basket. And that's the second foul on Kenny Turner. So that is a little bit of trouble here for King as Satchel Love checks in for him. Ben Jones has also entered the game for Converse. He's got it here on the wing. Jamison, open off the screen, and a miss. George full speed ahead now. Hocknett wants a screen. He wants a chance to get downhill. They double him, and a foul call. That foul called on DeCampo, his first. Poland returns. The call looks to make something happen. Pulls up from the elbow. Long rebound. Cullen's got it in the corner now. Pocknet wide open. Here's the skip pass. He lines up a three. And rebounded by Jamison. The ball movement by Converse. And an open two, no good. Jay Mitchell. A cow the other way. Here's George. Now Cullen from the logo. Splash! King leads by three. Cullen's got a pair of triples in the ball game. Backdoor pass knocked away. Turnover. George. A cow. Wing three. Cullen the rebound and a chance to bring it back out. Cullen tries one. Still loose and finally ripped down by Jamison. Pocknett's got to be careful. He's already got one foul. Don't want to have he and Kenny Turner with two fouls early. Ben Jones downhill. Off the square and good. Everything about this game screams that it's going to be close. We've seen that early. Pocknett. He's doubled underneath, somehow gets a shot off, but it doesn't go down. Good defense by King to slow up Jamison at half court. Here's a three by Pullen. Rims out, Cam George. George gives it off. Pocknett wants to get downhill. Spin move. Oh, and can't get it to go off the front of the rim. Those normally fall for McKell. Had some space there. This is Ben Jones for three. And Converse struggling from behind the arc. They're now 0 of 4 from three in the game. A call steps into one. Too much on it. Jamison a long rebound. Fast break opportunity. Jamison up, short, 
batted around, Cullen the rebound, and how about the pace of this game? Pocknett says he needs a break. Six players awaiting an opportunity to check into the game right now at the scores table. Cullen baseline, rises and puts it in over DeCampo at 6-9. Eight early points for Seth Cullen. King leads by three. Just past the halfway mark of the first half. Jones, stop and move. It's good. And Converse back within one. Feels like we haven't had a uh, whistle in a while. Paul needs some help here as Pocknett finally breaks free. And McKell get downhill. A call, a long three off to the left. Jones the rebound. King is firing them up from distance early. And Mitchell's fouled by Cullen and finally a whistle is called. So we head to the under-12 timeout with nearly nine minutes to go. King still in front. They lead by one behind. Frantic pace at the start. Kind of wear off a little bit on these two teams. Again, uh, shoot us a text on our text line, 276-696-6984. Vanessa Kyle, Jordan Akal's grandmother, is watching from Lexington, Kentucky. Hello to Vanessa and all of you who are watching. We'd love to hear from you. Nine to go in the first half. Burgess. Inside on Love. Converse regains the lead. They're up by one. Beasley doubled underneath. Saves it somehow. It's loose up top. Pullen comes away with it and lays in an easy two. Fourth turnover for King. You see Beasley, Cyrus, and Josh Jackson. Newly entered for King as Love hits the floor. George lines up a three. Not enough on it. And here comes Converse again in transition. Dawkins into the paint. And his two rattles around and it goes. So just as we said, both teams struggling a little bit from the field. Converse has put up together a 10-2 run in the last 425. Beasley, George tries another, can't connect, and a jump ball as Cyrus ties it up on Morgan, and we'll head to another media timeout, this time it's Converse who's out in front by five, we'll be right back on the Tornado Sport by three, this is the largest lead on either side, as Converse currently leads by five. Converse having another successful year. The most wins in school history for this program at 16 right now. They've only been a program for a handful of years, though. It's still an accomplishment to be proud of as this Converse program continues to grow. Three ball missed by Dawkins. And King keeps it. King hasn't scored in over two and a half minutes. They look to try to find some points here with their top three scorers off uh, currently on the bench. Beasley inside. King's had some looks but haven't been able to cash in. Jock Jackson lines one up. Love with an offensive rebound. Oh my goodness. Josh Jackson nearly made a poster inside. Didn't get it to go, but a couple free throws. <laughs> the long arms of Satchel Love. He nearly threw that one down and caught a body while he was at it. So Love to the free throw line for two. Love has been huge on the offensive glass for this team. 
He's got two offensive rebounds or more in 12 games already. But he really cleans it up on the glass. Has bought into Coach Gillespie's philosophy on offensive rebounding. King down four. This is Burgess. And Love forces the miss. Love. Drives again, hangs, and another trip to the line for Satchel. Love ready with his first. Elston checks back in for King. We see Jamison check back in for Converse. Now remember, folks, tomorrow is Valentine's Day, especially for those men out there that haven't gotten those gifts yet. You're running out of time. You can't help but think about Valentine's Day and Satchel Love with his pink shoes, man. In the spirit. Here's Dawkins into the paint. Pump fake. Gets his own rebound somehow amongst the trees. They thought it was half court, but I'm looking right here at it. And it, he barely kept his feet behind the line. Nice job of footwork there. Leads to a three by Jones. Bounces high in the sky and goes down. Now Elston off the deflection. Cyrus spins, puts it up, and a chance for free throws. They must have called that a two. For Ben Jones, so uh, four-point game. And that is the second foul on Ben Jones. So Cyrus to the free throw line, a chance to get on the board for him. Cyrus the junior, the transfer, averaging about four a game. It's kind of slowed down here in the last couple games, but he had been playing extremely well over the stretch. Kind of goes into that uh, thing for King trying to find that fifth starter. Beasley had started pretty much the entire year, and then Coach changed it up a bit. Cyrus and then Elston. Kind of been trading the hot hand approach, if you will. King down two, under six to go. Burgess up high, gives it off. Jamison kicks to the corner. Jones hounded by Cyrus. Three to shoot. Dawkins launches and connects from deep. Converse back up by five. Beasley splits the double team, floats one high. Love tries to tip it in but can't. Here's Pullen. Steps into a fadeaway and rims out. Cyrus now with it. Finds Love. Mismatch inside. And one for Satchel Love. If you let Love catch that ball there in the paint with no one around him, that's... That spells trouble for the opposing team. As now it's a three-point game, a chance to cut it to two as Mikel Pocknett is ready to check in again at the scores table. And he does so. And Love takes a seat. What an effort by Satchel Love. Six points off the bench to cut the lead back to two.
Remember, King has Kenny Turner on the bench with two fouls. The Cal and Cullen head to the, to the scores table themselves to check back in for the final few minutes here. Dawkins gives it off. Jamison still can't find a three. Jackson a rebound. Here's Pocknett guarded by Dawkins. Will he go to work? Poked away. Loose ball. And a kick by Pocknett after the ball hit the floor, I, I believe is the call. And they'll consider, well, thought they might clean up the spot there after a few bodies were diving on the floor for the basketball. So Converse has it up to four to go in the first half. In an entertaining first 16 minutes. Dawkins around the corner. Steps back. And it goes. Baskets good and a foul on Josh Jackson, I believe, as DeCampo hit the floor. Oh, they've won seven of their last nine games. King has won four of their last six in conference play. So something's got to give here tonight. And it's been a tight contest early, as you can tell. Both teams playing well. Elston steps in front of a pass and throw and gets it away up to Cullen. Cullen left his feet. Somehow it's saved, and King keeps it. Coach Pasqua for Converse says it should be the Valkyries basketball, but the Cal says, I didn't touch the ball, so I'm not sure what the discussion is. You see how the final few minutes go for the Tornado. Can they potentially take the lead before half? Hocknett doubled, loses it, gets it back. Inside, nearly puts it in for two, and it's out of bounds. The challenge for Mikel, obviously the conference freshman of the month. He's getting a lot of recognition. Teams are starting to focus a little bit on him. As soon as he catches the ball, in, in many occasions, they're doubling him and forcing him to put it on the floor and make him handle the ball. This is DeCampo on Jackson. Jackson trying to stick with him the best he can, and a nice move with the right hand by DeCampo. Converse now has their largest lead of the day. Jackson dishes off a cow. Inside and a foul. So free throws coming here for Jordan. As he took a pretty big shot there. Running into that six foot nine forward. The Cal today, five points, four rebounds. And miss on the first. You have to wonder when you run in when you run into somebody like that and get your bell rung a bit, it's gotta be hard to step to the line and make that free throw. See if he finds better luck this time. And he does. King 7 of 9 at the free throw stripe in the game. They trail by 5. And they bring some more pressure here. Trying to speed Converse up a bit. That leads to an open 3 by Pullen. And Elston grabs it off of 2 bounces. Elston in the corner. Works inside. Fade away. Two off the square. Coach Gillespie wants a foul. Doesn't get it. It's a three-point game. Remember, 
King is doing this with Kenny Turner on the bench. He's only played six minutes due to foul trouble here in the first half. Can they weather the storm here? So they get back to full strength in the second half. Dawkins, three. And Elston runs it down. Converse is one of nine from three in this game. Elston tries to tie it. Love with his second offensive rebound and finds Pocknett to keep it alive. Pocknett wants to get downhill. And he throws it away trying to find Elston. Burgess swings it over. Dawkins inside. Rises and scores. 13 first half points for Isaiah Dawkins. A call inside, floats it up. Batted around, Park Net. Oh, he's stuffed at the rim by the rim. And Love lays it home. Here comes Converse the other way. King is not back. Burgess, an easy two. And Elston throws one up. My goodness. He thought he had a foul there, I think. Just threw one up, and it went down. And Coach Pasqua wants a timeout. Can't take it with him, so he'll draw something up here with Converse up three. Uh, we're second in the conference in three-point shooting percentage, so you'd have to think that that will sort of find a correction. We saw that happen in the women's game earlier today. So that's going to be something that is on the mind of King, I'm sure, at the half. Converse leads by three. It's about a five-second difference between the game clock and shot clock. Dawkins guarded closely by Pocknett. Uh-oh. That could be two on Pocknett. We'll see. It is. Will they say he was shooting, though? They will. So Dawkins a chance to add to his total. He has a game-high 13 points here in the first half. And he's already reached now 900 career points. And how about that free throw stance by Dawkins? Check out, check out his left foot. Looks like he's taking a swing in the batter's box. Unconventional, but it works. He's a 75% free throw shooter, so if it ain't if it ain't broke, right? King down five, Pocknet skies, and one for Mikel. Well, that was quick. I think you could tell all the frustration that Pockley, neither team is really too far out in front of the other outside of the fact that Converse is shooting it a little better. They're at 47%. King is at 31%. But King holds the advantage at the free throw line as Pocknett misses. It's loose. One second left. Elston nearly tied it right before halftime. Excellent defensive effort by Eli. And that would have been uh, an excellent way to end the first half for King. When King shoots 46% or better, they're 7-1 and one this year. So uh, they're 1-13 and 13 when they shoot below that number. So both teams kind of have their markers here. And we'll see how it shakes out. King's got a lot of work to do to get to their number. Converse right at their number in the first half. So we'll see how things go. We expect this to be a tight game into the second half as well. A cow spins. Tries to dump down to Pocknet, but a turnover as Pullen goes the other way with it. Turnover number seven for King. Corner three goes. That's Malcolm Morgan. And he draws some cheers from some fans here in the stands. Why, you might ask. Morgan... A former player for Emory and Henry, just up the street. Several of their players are here today rooting on their former teammate. And a call is fouled here. Trying to get rid of the basketball. What a start. 
to the half here for Converse. You get a turnover, which leads to a three. Kenny Turner back out on the floor. King missed him in that first half, and now another foul as uh, a cow was fouled heading back door. That foul is on Joel Pullen, his third. So consecutive fouls on Pullen, and he takes a seat promptly as Jay Mitchell, the junior, checks in. King tries to find Pocknet. It's knocked away, but it stays here. You can tell Converse came into this game with a very good plan to take Mikkel Pocknet out of the game. So far, it's worked. Turner loses it underneath the basket. Four on the shot clock. And a collision underneath. Jump ball gives it back to the Valkyries. Converse basketball, they lead by six. King with some pressure here in the backcourt. Burgess gives it off to Morgan. This is Mitchell now, ball rolling around. Burgess collects, left-handed shot misses, loose ball. Pocknet collects it. It's one on three. Pocknet goes to the rim anyways and scores. Six for McKell. Four-point game. Dawkins back door. And one for Jamison. Seen quite a bit of this backdoor action for both teams. Jamison, a bit of a quiet first half. His converse looks to get him going. And he cashes in again. He rarely misses at the free throw line. He's three of three today. He's got seven points. And that's the margin. King down by seven at the moment. The cow working off the screens. Ten to shoot it. Pocknet lines one up. Tipped up by a cow, no good. And Dawkins chases it down. King pressures the basketball in the backcourt. Really slow, uh, slow converse up there. As now Mitchell tries a three to call the rebound. Hocknet spins up and under and a foul. And Mikhail has had a couple of those tonight where he just missed a three-point opportunity. Third foul on Malcolm Morgan. Pocknet 0 of 1 at the free throw line today. He normally makes quite a bit of his points at the free throw line. Mikel is second in the conference in free throw makes and free throw attempts behind only K.J. Jones, who is uh, the reigning conference player of the year and Pretty much every year that he stays at Emmanuel down there, he's going to be in the running for it again. All this in Mikel's freshman year. He's up to eight points after the makes. It's a five-point game once more. Burgess in the paint, and he turns it over. A cow across half court.
Here's Pocknett with position on the smaller Morgan. Easy. Easy two for Mikel. Double digits for Pocknett. It's a one possession game. Mitchell inside. Kick out. Ten to shoot. Morgan goes right. His three. Back iron. Long rebound. Converse another chance. Converse only their fourth offensive rebound today. Again under ten to shoot. Looked like a travel. Dawkins wing three. Short. Loose. Out of bounds, King ball. And we'll head to a media timeout with King. Right back in it. They've outs they are a they are a three-point deficit away from tying the ball game here against Con to a three-point game. And we're ready to roll here with King. Basketball. Down three. Cal fires one across. Elston somehow scores. And Turner is shaken up. I think he might have gotten stepped on, perhaps by Elston. What a move to the bucket to make it a one-point game. Looks like Kenny's okay. And a foul in the backcourt as Elston is charged for his first. Elston trying to stick with Jamison. Look how high this Converse team runs their offense and tries for those backdoor looks. Mitchell finds Jamison open three. Money. That's the guy you can't leave alone. 44% three-point shooter. Here's a scramble for the ball. DeCampo goes sliding. Dawkins. And he misses. Now Cullen is fouled. What a missed opportunity there by Converse. They had a free look at the bucket. A cow with great defense to force the miss. And then they pick up a foul on Dawkins. His second. I think we may clean up the floor here. I'll tell you, DeCampo, he went sliding across that floor right here in front of us. They might check up in this area to see if it's not sweaty as well. King down four. Elston dishes off. Pocknet crossover. Oh, and nearly another and one try. Third foul on Ben Jones. So Pocknet today, despite a bit of a slow start, ten points, four rebounds. Mikel, seventh in the conference in points per game, second in offensive rebounds. He's put together some really big games, including 28 points, 11 rebounds against Mount Olive earlier this year. Malcolm Morgan returns for the Valkyries as King has cut it to a two-point game. Mitchell off the bounce, loses it, loose ball, Elston and a kick. Oh my. So a kick ball by Elston, I guess. That gives it back to Converse.
Dawkins with it now. Converse really does a nice job sharing the basketball. Jamison. And a foul on Elston. Oh, wow. A foul on Kenny underneath. And I think, I think Kenny agreed. He was kind of shaking his head in agreement there, I, I think. Jamison, top of the key, and another three. Converse leads by five, 13 points for C.J. Jamison. The transfer from North Greenville. Cullen finds a cow, open three, yes! And it's back to a two-point game. Morgan inside, floater, not enough on it. A call, full head of steam. It's a two-point game. King could take the lead with a three. Pocknett, and a foul. That's the sixth foul on Converse. So King will have free throws for the remainder of the game. That could be massive in a tight game that we've had today. Neither team is led by double digits. The highest lead seven by Converse just about four minutes ago, actually. Pocknett loses it. The double team works again for Converse. Pulling. And it's poked away as Turner just got a piece of it. Jamison baseline. Gets Cullen up in the air and scores. And Nick Pasquale wants a timeout. The converse back up by four after the quick basket basketball. The uh, second half has been fairly even. Converse leads at 14-13 here in the second half. Both teams shooting it well, though. King, 4 of 6 from the field. Converse, 5 of 11. One major difference for Converse, they've made three threes. They're 3 of 6 from behind the arc here in the second half after only shooting 1 of 9 in half number 1. So we knew those shots might start falling. Pocknett all the way across to Elston, who creates space, dishes off. Turner bullies his way up and puts it in for two. Two-point game. That's Kenny's first two points of the day. And King is down two. Obviously, he had some foul trouble early. If you told Coach Gillespie that Kenny would only have two points with 12 to go, and he'd be down two, wow, Dawkins misses another close one. You think... Gillespie would take that all day. Elston for the lead. And Dawkins grabs the rebound. Gets it off to Pullen after the double. King is doing an excellent job in the backcourt, slowing Converse up after those rebounds. Dawkins, nice pass inside with position and a foul. Malcolm Morgan heads to the line. sides converse it's uh, Dawkins with 15 points we did hear from Dawkins mother on our text line Nikita says very proud of Uzziah Dawkins how he's playing and after he had a tough game on Saturday so he is having a nice game 15 points and five rebounds CJ Jamison 15 points and six rebounds for King it's Pocknet with 12 and Cullen with 10 a cow with 9.7 rebounds as well. Morgan one for two at the line, and it's a three-point game.
King last led this game in the first half, 15 to 14, nine minutes to go. So it's been a while, but they've been close a couple times. King looking to feed Turner. He's doubled, rises, and good defense by Converse. Skipped ahead, Morgan inside, just short. Pocknet the rebound, and he gives it off to a cow. And that pass tipped out of bounds by Pullen. And a cow's pass for Turner knocked away. Jamison, low block. Gives it off. Pullen tries a three. And out of bounds. It's the little things for this King team. If you watch their last game on Saturday against Jawan, they were up by two, had the ball with four seconds to go, and a careless turnover. Gave the ball back to Chihuahua, who hit the game-winning three at the buzzer. Here's Pocknet inside, easy two with position, and it's a one-point game. But you saw the turn, the, the couple turnovers that have happened on this end of the floor uh, over the last couple of minutes have kept King from taking the lead. They're right there, though. And you know in a close game, it's going to be that one play. You just never know which one it's going to be. Three from Jamison. And a big rebound by a cow. His eighth today. Thrown ahead. Cullen stripped. He tried to give King the lead with an exclamation point right at the halfway mark of the second half. A couple changes as Beasley and Cyrus check in for King. King still with the ball. And a chance to take the lead. Pocknet finds Cullen in the corner. Dawkins gives him the baseline. Cullen skips across. Pocknet weaves his way to the rim. He's blocked by Morgan. Morgan just got a piece of the basketball there, or that would have been two easy ones for McKell. Back door. And two for Ben Jones. It feels like every time King has been close, Converse has found the bucket they need. Turner has it knocked away. It's loose. Converse with a run out. It's Ben Jones. Ten points for Jones, and Converse leads by five, just like that. Just a moment ago, King was looking to take the lead. Pocknet doubled again. Oh, my goodness. Is he ever going to be able to get an and one? He's been close a couple times. That's the fourth foul on Joel Pullen. So that could be something to circle down the stretch. Several players with three fouls for Converse, including their key guys. So Pullen about to take a seat. Mikel up to 15 points. Cam George has checked in for King as Elston takes a seat. And another two for two trip for Mikel. Makes it a three-point game. And now Pocknet has a breather as Satchel Love checks into the game. Jamison underneath. 
And there's two. That backdoor action has been working so well for Converse today. They lead by five. George doubled off the screen. And an ill-advised pass across is knocked away. Dawkins baseline. Cyrus trying to stick with him. But a foul called on Mondo. That's his first. And it's thrown right to Kenny Turner. And now knocked right back away. Morgan steals it. Morgan lays it off the square for two. My goodness. Now thrown ahead. Another ill-advised pass. But now out of bounds is Jamison. As tippers are flaring here in the corner. And luckily we've got a, a rebounds. Isaiah Dawkins, 15 points, 5 rebounds. Ben Jones has 10 points off the bench. For King, it's Pocknett with 16 points and 6 rebounds. Seth Cullen, 10 points and 5 rebounds. And Jordan Akau has 9 points and 8 rebounds. Those are the leaders for both teams. Cyrus in the corner. Now Kenny. A lot of black jerseys in the area and another turnover. Jones again, he's stripped and out of bounds. Last touch by King. These teams are so familiar with one another. Played, of course, several times over the last few years. Coach Pasqua and Coach Gillespie obviously know each other as well as Jamison lines up a wing three and it's up and over the backboard. But, of course, Coach Gillespie used to coach at King. He was an assistant here at one time and then Coach Pasqua for Converse was a player at King and was an assistant coach as well later on. George, catch and shoot. Bang! Big three for King. It's a four-point game. Cam George, his first made three of the day. He had 11 points on Saturday against Jawan with three made threes. King would love to get him going here in the final few minutes. Under 10 on the shot clock. Jamison with room inside. He rises. He's blocked by Love. Here comes Beasley. Ahead to Cyrus. Out of bounds. King ball. Cyrus for three in the corner in front of King's bench. And it's a one-point game. Back-to-back -to -back triples for King. And they're right there. Jamison left alone. Yes. And a timeout called by Converse to curb the momentum for the tornado. It's a four-point game. As teams firing back a few threes. Again, NCAA Division II day coming up on, well, you guessed it, 2-2-2. Two, 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 February 22nd, next Thursday. Four-point game, six minutes to play. Pocknett in the paint. Doubled again. Forces it up. Loose. Battle for it. Out of bounds. And Converse basketball. King thought it last touched a Valkyrie player. So 
A brief timeout here as they clean up the sweat on the floor. And we're ready to continue. <laughs> and right away, a player goes down. The Converse controls it. Pulling out on the floor for Converse with four fouls. That's something to monitor here. Burgess, back door, thrown away. Miscommunication by the Valkyries. Beasley, Pocknett, Cullen, Love, and Cyrus. The five for King at the moment. And they cut it yet again to a one-possession game. Kenny Turner walks to the scorer's table. Pocknett gives it off. Cyrus pull up on the baseline off the side of the backboard. Coach Gillespie screams for a foul. Doesn't get it. Pullen, corner three. And rebounded by Cullen. That would have been a dagger. Cullen splits the defense. Love put back. Oh, my. Satchel. Ten-point game. Excuse me, ten points for Love. Two-point game. And a loose ball, and Beasley fouled him. Now would have tied it up, but Beasley grabbed the uh, Converse player there around that screen. That's the sixth foul on King, so free throws on both sides the rest of the way. So after the foul, Converse keeps it. 4.30 to go. Dawkins, wing three. Got it. And again, King cuts it to a one-possession game, and Converse hits a big shot. 18 points for Dawkins. See if they space things out here. Cyrus, a contested three. And the rebound goes to Burgess. Jamison back door. Cullen there. Converse skips it around. Cyrus trying to stick with Dawkins. Eight to shoot. Pullen pulls it out. Pullen on the floor with the dribble. Two to shoot. Last second shot by Burgess. Count it at the buzzer. And just like that, Converse stretches it back to seven. Cullen tries a three. Short. And a foul by Cyrus, and that's free throws. For Converse after our media timeout. Converse has their uh, largest lead of the day, seven points. They have a chance. So Dawkins, we saw him hit two free throws earlier with that unconventional free throw stance. Get a good look at it here. And he misses the first. So here we go. King needs a run. It starts with one basket. A call. Nearly has it. Pocknett, and he's fouled. It's going to go on Jamison, I believe. Yes, his second. So free throws coming for Mikel. So the offensive rebound there by Pocknett leads to the opportunity to get those free throws. First one goes. 
King has played a lot of close conference games this year. They're 2-6 and six in conference games decided by single digits. They're trying to get that closer to 500. You're going to lose some close ones. You're going to win some close ones, but King has been on the wrong end of those at uh, this season. They nearly had one on Saturday against Chowan. That would have kind of evened things up a bit. Can they do it today? Baseline drive, Dawkins blocked. Turner had it momentarily. Cullen collects. Here comes King with a chance to cut it again to a one-possession game. Cullen fires to Pocknett. He goes up and out of bounds, stays here. If you're Mikel Pocknett, certainly that would have been a tough one, but you think about all the all the close misses today with the fouls, the and ones. The cow finds Pocknett. He goes to work one on one, mismatch inside. He loses it, goes up and scores. Three point game. Mikel's got 20 points. And again, it's a one possession game as we approach two minutes to play. Can King get the stop in the bucket? Big shot in the corner. Oh, Jamison with the dagger. 23 points for Jamison, and it continues. King gets it close. Another big bucket by Converse. Mikel doubled. Cyrus skips to Cullen. Under 10 to shoot. Cullen with room underneath puts it in for two. It's a four point game. We're getting close to a minute to go. King has got to find some stops. Another close game for the Tornado. They've got an uphill battle here with just a minute left. Ten seconds on the shot clock. King's best shot at a stop right here. Five to shoot, pulling up high. Throws one up at the last second. It's loose, long rebound. Pullen gets it. I don't think anybody uh, anybody box pulling out. He steps out of bounds. And it's now King ball. Eli Elston checks into the game. How long it takes them. They'll have to foul more than likely. They could probably play it out a little bit, try to get a steal. The Converse takes really good care of the basketball. Here we go. King needs points first. Then we'll talk about the rest. A cow into the paint. Floats one up, and it's turned over. Thrown right to Jamison. They were trying to find Turner. And a foul in front of the King bench. Not sure what the miscommunication was there. It's the second foul on a cow. Malcolm Morgan is the free throw shooter. He's 51% on the year. This is a one and one situation. And a make. And a big one at that for Converse. Coach Pasqua screaming out no fouls to his converse defense. As Morgan goes one for two. Here comes King down five. They need points and they need them quick. Pocknett, top of the key for three. Loose and a push on Jamison, I believe. Yes, so that's his third. A cow to the line for two free throws. So Jones off the floor in favor of Pullen. This is a one and one. A cow needs the first. No good. 
Pocknett tries to run it down. Uh-oh. Confusion here on the out of bounds. They first ruled it was king ball. And now it's converse ball. Mm-mm-mm. And now it starts to feel like this could be going the wrong way for King here. Down five, just 18 seconds left. Morgan to inbound and a timeout. Last timeout for Converse. So it's Converse basketball. Obviously, King Jameson with 23 points. He's averaging 16 a game, so a nice game for him. First one, good. Down seven potentially with a make here with 17 seconds to go. Just not sure there's enough time. He missed it. King down six. They've got a hurry and they need a three. A cow, a deep one. Got it! Three point game and a timeout. Wait just a second. <laughs> Jordan Akal making it interesting. He's got 12 points for King. His double bonus, so two free throws coming on a foul for Converse. They're certainly going to try to get it to Jamison. He's throwing it in, so I wouldn't be surprised if he, if they do the old someone run out of bounds play here. There it is. And thrown deep. This could be big. Out of bounds. It's going to be King basketball down three. This is almost exactly the scenario we saw on Saturday when Converse just had to get it in and get fouled. They turn it over. If King King probably could get a quick basket, they're inbounding it underneath their own basket. So we'll see what coach has drawn up here. Is it a two? Is it a three? Elston to throw it in. A three could tie it. Elston finds a cow. It's knocked away. It's loose in the backcourt. Six seconds left. A call. Colin to tie it. Oh, he hit it with 1.8 seconds. Dawkins throws it at the last moment. We're going to overtime. Seth Colin ties the game. On B. We are heading to overtime with five minutes to play. And frankly, this game deserved it. We tip it off in OT. And a cow saves it. King's got the momentum. A cow underneath rises. Two no good. Loose ball. Who gets it? It's Pullen. Remember, he's got four fouls. Remember that here in this overtime period. Just what this game deserved, folks. Backdoor pass. Collision underneath the basket. Two is a miss by Dawkins. Turner with the rebound. When you hit a shot to send it to overtime, your team has got all the momentum. Can King capitalize and pull off what would be a massive win? A cow for three. Short, he knew it right away. And Elston has the rebound but dribbles it off his leg. I believe King scored six points in 19 seconds there to tie it up and send it to OT. Just unbelievable stuff. Now we see who can pull it out. Dawkins around the corner. Pocknet there. Burgess. Seven to shoot. Dawkins into the paint. Bounce pass. And he dribbles it right off of his foot.
for all the scoring that took place in the final seconds of the second half. We've had no points on either side through the first minute and a half here in overtime. A cow backing down on Poland, who's got four fouls. A cow nearly rolls it home. Pocknett, the putback goes. King has the lead for the first time since nine minutes to go in the first half. That was a 15-14 score. As chance of defense ring around the student center. Morgan's pass knocked away. A cow three on one behind the back to Elston. Reverse. Oh! Four point lead for King. Unbelievable pass by a cow. Dawkins on the wing. Nine to shoot. Jamison a long three. Yes, the answer. King leads by one. 27 points for C.J. Jamison. Cal gives it off. Here's Turner down low. He loses it. Gets it back. Kicks off. Pocknet with room. Yes! King by three. A minute 45 to play. Can King hold on? And a foul on Elston. Free throws coming, and that's the wrong guy to foul there is Jamison. Remember, Jamison missed a free throw earlier. Today, Jamison, four of five at the line. One of the best free throw shooters in the conference. And a make. Jamison, the transfer from North Greenville, made his way across the street from North Greenville to Converse, and he misses the second one. King leads by two. Ninety seconds left in overtime. The Cal around the corner finds Pocknet. He works inside, ball batted away. Somehow McHale got it back, and a foul is called on Ben Jones. Pocknett was stripped. That ball went about 20 feet in the air. There were five bodies near it, and somehow Pocknett was able to corral it and earn free throws out of the, the trip. First one good for McKell. He's got 25 points to go along with 10 rebounds. Another double-double for McKell Pocknett. Rims out. Loose ball, and Coach Gillespie got the rebound. Unfortunately for King, he does not count as a player on the team. <laughs> Three point game. Converse looks to answer. Jamison to tie it. Short turn of the rebound. And he gave it off before he traveled. King up three, under a minute to go. King can take some time off the clock. A cow. And he has it ripped away by Jamison. Great defense by C.J. Jamison. Now Converse needs a bucket down three. Dawkins to tie it from the wing. Long. A cow, the rebound, and a foul. 
Jamison, his fourth foul. And here we go. Let's go back again to Saturday against Chawan. King up two. They had a free throw miss late in the game that opened the door for Chawan to come back and win. Coach Gillespie told me in a text message the other day, and I'll pull it up just to be a word for word here, but free throws hurt us again, he said, only 53% in the game. A call hits this one down the stretch. King is now 17 of 22 at the free throw line in this game. Much better than the other day against Chawan. Can a call send it to a five-point King lead? He does. Timeout. King. 80 to 75. If you count, only scored four points in the overtime period. They're one of four from the field, and it was a three-pointer. Converse is not done yet. 30.7 seconds to go with Converse down five. The seconds are precious. Pulling into the front court. Stop and start. Kick. Dawkins. Corner three. No. Put back. Yes. Morgan makes it a three-point game and a quick timeout by Converse. That is their last timeout. Nine points from Malcolm Morgan. Steal, and if they can't, foul to put King on the line. It'll be two shots should King be able to complete the inbounds pass and get fouled. Here we go. Turner the inbounder. Elston the catch. Dribbles out some time. Still no foul. Cullen is fouled with 10 seconds to go. Seth Cullen today has not attempted a free throw. That is five fouls on Jamison. So now Jamison with five fouls. Uh, sorry, I'm watching an interaction over here on the Converse bench. Five fouls on Jamison. That's Converse's best scoring threat. So he's out of the game. Now Cullen with a chance to ice it here. 64% free throw shooter on the year. And a swish on the first one. Four point lead. And Converse's best score in Jamison with 28 points has fouled out of the game. Cullen's second one. Swish again. Five point game. Ten seconds left. Converse running out of time. Converse needs a quick basket. In the corner, it's Dawkins for three. No good. Loose ball. A cow collects, throws ahead, and King pulls it off. 82-77. King with a win that they desperately needed here at home.